Hello, I'm Charles Falco. With my friend and colleague, Alton Guilfoyle, we welcome you to our exhibition, The Motorcycle, Design, Art, Desire. Thank you, Charles. Hello, I'm Alton Guilfoyle. For the next few minutes, we're going to show you some of the absolute highlights of our exhibition. So stick around. The exhibition is subtitled Design, Art, Desire. But basically, this is an exhibition about design, one of the most important and iconic design objects of the last 150 years. The exhibition starts with the Perot of 1871, the very first motorcycle ever designed. At that time, at the end of the steam era, engines had finally been made small enough to fit into frames modeled after the Michaud bicycle. Perot's earlier patents of 1868, 1869, and 1870 show other versions similar to this final machine, including one with an electric motor. The frame has the same almost vertical steering geometry already in use for five decades on a number of Drazian hobby horses to which Perot substituted an S-shaped backbone of hollow tubing to create a lighter and stronger frame that gives additional clearance for the engine. Another of Perot's innovations is that he used a threaded steel to make tensions of the spoke adjustable. The result was the world's first motorcycle with a one or two horsepower and iron tires on the slippery cobblestone streets of Paris, while the rider sat a few centimeters above a boiler held together with 19th century rivets and pressurized with three and a half kilograms per square centimeter of steam. That's it from me, Charles Falco. We look forward to seeing you at the Gallery of Modern Art.